It's uh, April 6th today. All our snow melted today. I noticed this girl calving at about 4 o'clock this afternoon and I sat here long enough to just see one foot and then that was it. Oh, you sit here long enough, you see something. I just saw two feet. We're good. We're good, right? We haven't had a mud season here in southern Alberta for I can't tell you how long. All of our, well, a lot of our friends down south, though, get mud season every year. We've got new customers in the barn. Two heifers, actually. So, got them in just before dark. This one here has been calving for long enough that we need to see what's going on. And uh, this one here is going to calve. We got a big old cow out in the field calving, so I'm glad the weather has straightened out a little. Um, it's not perfect, but it's not splatting wet snow anymore. This red one's not happy about being in the barn. And uh, anyway, she's calving. I give her some hay in the corner there. Hopefully distract her because she's been charging at this gate and these this these ones here aren't meant for that. I'm trying to move this pair across. Uh, this was the super grumpy cow that climbed in the back of the truck with Glenn yesterday. And uh, she's tried to come through my driver's window here twice now. So we just need to get them the heck out of the way. She's got to go somewhere where we aren't going to be around. Like blind rage yesterday, thought she killed her calf. This is the uh, cow that had the calf that I pulled while Glenn was down and out. And uh, you remember she had a uterine prolapse that we had to fix. So we're just taking the stitches out of the back end. Glenn's cleaned it up with some rubbing alcohol and it's just using some stuff to cut it. They get a little crusty, so you gotta do a little tugging and they don't love it. And then uh, we're gonna give her another ear tag so that we know not to keep her. And then she's going out. We just moved seven pairs out from the corral and there are at least three different groups of cows that they're fighting right now. A bunch of knotheads. Just keep your calves out of it, ladies. So this is our newest bottle baby. We're uh, letting him and his mom out today, but we'll have to separate them twice a day to feed him because she doesn't have any milk. She's our wildest cow that's been in the barn yet. So I'm in a pen away from her baby. However, that doesn't mean that she's not going to come and take this fence. So I'm going to keep my eyes open here. Sunday, April 7th. It's 10 p.m. There's nobody in the barn. Now I should probably knock on wood. We're getting ready to uh, start pumping water from that dugout where the calf was in last week's video. It'll just save our house well having to run water for the cows and calves every day. Alright, we got this heifer, she uh, has had two water bags, so we saw a bolt 
water bag. I just got a real water bag. And so we're going to put her in. It's pretty nice out, but it's dark and it's a heifer. So we're going to put her in just to make sure that uh, she's going to be okay. And it's infinitely harder after dark. So anyway, Fultz water bag is pretty interesting. don't see that very often. All right, I'm going to call for a canoe support here to close this gate behind her. See in a bit. The way the cows moo the baby sometimes, it reminds me of being in trouble. I mean, wait, what? I was never in trouble when I was little. Oh, it's so nice to let them out. Glenn did a rough count this morning. I think we only have about like around 35 left out there to calve. Hopefully it stays just like this. See this? I mean, it could rain. Yeah, we'd love some rain. Hey, buddy. It's our hospital pen crew. We opened up the back for them again. Every day I feed them some chop, so I'm gonna bring it and feed it along this uh, fence here. And then we got a bottle baby, 431, laying in there. His mom was the one that took up the barn most of week seven. Just a barn wrecker, man killer. We have uh, a heifer and her calf in here that um, yesterday we were gonna put out. And anyway, heifers don't off, always mother up very well. So we decided to keep her in here. I wasn't even in the crowd and she Full bore ran across the corral yesterday trying to kill me. <laughs> so people are like, yeah, you should sell your 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 cows that are grumpy or the ones that are late. And uh, well, I guess we wouldn't have any cows left. Uh, it's better to feed them on some nice dry ground. It's good. This black one right there, 213. Full boar ran across the corral yesterday to try and kill me. So hopefully she doesn't do that while I'm standing here feeding this baby. Great. We also want to make sure we keep cows in that haven't cleaned. That black one there hasn't cleaned yet. It's not your baby, lady. Bug off. This is your mama. She's much calmer. If we were in the barn, she would have been just ramming her head into the boards by now, trying to eat me. You're good, Mama. It's okay. You just don't have a lot of milk. The internet world is full of these tough love moms right now, and this is one of them. She just keeps knocking them down. This is a heifer. So. Anyway, we're gonna tag it and see how that goes. She's probably gonna be a real pain. I'm gonna do it as safely as possible. So if I don't get any film of it, then that's why. better than I thought. She's all bark and don't bite. She's looking for it. It's in the back of the truck. Heifers, you can have a major problem with heifers if you tag their calves too soon, but uh, this calf, we needed to get it tagged because it was going to be a running concern here pretty soon. We'll drive over to her and drop it off. I was at the dentist. Glenn brought this heifer in and pulled this calf yesterday. He said it was a really hard pull. And 
So we're just giving it a couple of shots of colostrum. This is a super good mom. Really gentle, easy to work with. Definitely a Disney princess. These two are like cousins that don't need to hang out with each other. But she wants to. Then we got another new baby over there in the background that we're gonna have to tag in a couple hours before it gets runny feet. That's three today. This is the first cesarean that happened. It was a good month ago. So the stitches are coming out now. I was just putting some rubbing alcohol on there to clean it up a little bit. The way they put these uh, stitches in is that you just need to clip it and just give a little tug on it and it just pop right out. Of course, there's always a little bit of uh, healing that's happened on the edge of the stitch, so it might grab a little, but uh, it looks super good. Like when you go back to the doctor and you sit super still while he takes your stitches out. <laughs> Looks good. Current protocol here in Alberta says that you should let the cows clean on their own. But I'm just going to go in and gently see what's going on there. Uh, we had one that was quite a few days not cleaning and then she did clean on her own eventually. But uh, we'd like to get this girl out so we're going to see what's going on here. It used to be standard practice to clean. You stick a bullet in there and, and anyway, not so much standard practice anymore. It appears she just needed a little bit of uh, gentle tugging. We'll see. <laughs> I'm so optimistic about most of everything, and Glenn's like, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, good start to it. This doesn't even smell too bad. There it comes. Sorry if that's kind of gross for you guys, but that was actually, it wasn't really stuck on there at all, so. Oh, you had to put it up wind from us. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we'll let these guys catch up with each other, and then we got three pairs to put out. Good job, man. Uh, it's still a little muddy. Hasn't the snow melted about four or five days ago, and it's yeah, not great yet in the corral. Great news, came into the barn after chores. We need to get him started on his mom. We knew that we could get him up, but he needed help. He's still wobbly, but uh, yeah, that's always good news when your calf's up. We're gonna, mom's just across the way over there. We're gonna get her put into the maternity pen so that we can use the bottom portion of it to get him milking. 
Glenn's gonna re we're gonna do a review on this uh, maternity pen, this tough maternity pen, sometime here in April. So stay tuned for that. Her teats are so short that this guy doesn't have, he's not ready to suck yet. And without that natural instinct, those guys would be hard to get in your mouth for sure. See his eyes? He's like, hello? Nobody's home. <laughs> His eyes got really big. <laughs> Just gotta get their suckers working. You can see how excited they get when they get it on their own. It's just manic now. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I got this. <laughs> This was over the span of about half an hour this morning. So by tonight when we put her in, he's just gonna be a going concern. What a way to end week seven with this gentle giant and her baby. Just trying to get them going together. What a relief it is to have somebody that isn't trying to kill you or wreck the barn for a change. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care.